Hey team, my name is Mr. Lackey. Most of you know that already. Welcome back if I had you last semester. Uh, I'm making this video for two reasons. Uh, the first one is because we actually have a handful of new students joining our class and I wanted to show them how our, uh, especially our online class sets up so they know what to do on weeks they're not in school. But also I did a midterm survey with a lot of you guys and many students asked for things that I'm already doing. Uh, so I wanted to give you a quick refresher on where you can find some of the things that you guys were asking for. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over here uh, to our Schoology page. So let's open that up here. Uh, okay, this is what our Schoology page looks like. Let me first of all remind you guys that uh, when you log into Schoology as a student, you don't come to this page. You come to what's called the Schoology homepage. It's going to be super, super helpful if you go up to courses and you actually click on the thing that says general chemistry and you come to this page, the one that's set up for our class. The reason is because there's all kinds of information on this page that is not on the home page. Um, OK, so let's specifically take a minute and talk about if you're in the virtual week. So let's say this is the week you're not coming to school. Uh, what I expect you to do on that week is usually, so right up here at the top of the page, I have some important buttons for you guys. The most important one is the very first button, the one that says schedule, updated every Monday. That's true. Whenever you start your virtual week, you should be able to click on this and it's going to open a new document. I do want to point out, these buttons only appear if you're on a computer or a Chromebook. If you're on your phone, you won't see these buttons, but right below down here, I have a thing that says important links for phone users. It's those same three links. So you could click here to get to the schedule or up here. I'm going to click the button. Um, when it opens up, it just gives me a document. It gives me a suggested schedule for what I should do. This is actually the one from the end of last semester, so the final week right before break. Uh, so let's say cohort A, those kids were home that week. What I expected them to do is show up. There was only one assignment for them. It was a really light week. Normally I have two or three. Here it lays out right here exactly what they need to do and what day it's due for their cohort. And then it gave them some other tips, like I had a survey for them to fill out, reminded them to fill in missing work right? That's for the virtual week. If you look down, you can see previous weeks. So if you're a whole week behind and you want to know what you missed out, scroll down to get to previous weeks. I've actually got the whole first semester here listed below, okay? On the right, I also want to point out if you ever miss live school, and that happens a lot this year, maybe you get quarantined, maybe you get sick, maybe you miss the bus, whatever happens, if you want to know what you missed, usually every night by the end of the day, I've got links to what we did in class that day. So like, for example, uh, if I look up here for live class on Tuesday, there's a big announcement telling people, okay, there's going to be a test on Thursday. Here's the handout we did in class. And here's even a video of me going over it. Most days, what we do builds on the day before. So if you miss school, but you don't want to feel behind, just check this page uh, the night before you come to school. See if there's a short video. I try to keep them really short, uh, but if we do notes or something or we go over a topic, I've got a handout for you and I've got a short video of what you should do. Okay, so let's go back actually. So let's see. These students here who are virtual, they were supposed to go to the 2.12. It says open folder 2.12 about Alice Ball. All right, so let's go back to our page and see what that looks like. Notice on the page here below the important links, I've just got three folders. This is for each unit. We really broke everything last semester into pretty much two units. Unit zero here was actually just like introductions and basic stuff at the start of the year. Unit one was pretty much the first quarter and unit two was the second quarter. You'll notice if you click on it, let's go to unit two, there's a whole bunch of things in here that we learned. And they're ordered, they're numbered by the things we did. So 2.1 is the first thing we did. 2.2 is the second thing, 2.3, right? If I scroll all the way down to 2.12, remember that was the thing we were looking for in that assignment. 2.12, okay, there's a whole folder. I'm going to click it and open up the whole folder. Here's a description of what I need to do. Here's a, a link to a document to help me do it. Here's a link to the reading that I'm supposed to do here. So for this assignment, students just did a short reading, took a few notes, and then after they took those notes, they took this quiz. It said open note quiz, right? What I know happens to a lot of students is instead of doing this, what they do is they show up on our page, they don't look at the schedule, they don't look at the folders and they just look at upcoming assignments. 
The problem with that is the assignment will just say, there's a quiz. They'll just click the quiz and take the quiz without actually looking at like, oh, there was a reading. There were notes I was supposed to take. This class, especially the weeks you're home, I design every assignment that you should easily get 100 points if you just do the work. You should get 100%. So please make sure instead of uh, just from the home screen clicking your assignments or from the course screen clicking your assignments, actually take the time, go to the schedule, check out what I've suggested for you to do. And then if it says open the 2.1 folder, again, don't skip straight, straight to the quiz open it up and see some of the things it's basic like this one 2.2 it was just a quiz there was nothing that goes with it you can just click right into that right but for things that are a folder that's usually because there's a description inside of it there's links to important documents you want to actually check those things out before you do it um i think that's the main stuff i wanted to remind you guys of and let you know if you ever have questions about stuff just shoot me an email i'm happy to help you uh, I've been very forgiving on due dates. This semester, I'm going to make most things due on Friday, the week that you're not here. But if you are late, just turn it in after that. Even if I put a zero in the grade book, all that means is that you haven't done it. I will still accept work usually for full credit, even if it's a week or two weeks late. It's just going to totally tank your grade until you turn it in. So again, if you get a zero in the grade book, that doesn't mean you missed the opportunity to do it. It just means you missed the deadline and I'm trying to remind you to do it. And if you do it later, I will give you credit for it and your grade will massively shoot back up. Um, okay, well, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again in person. I'm looking forward to meeting you if you're a new student in my class. And uh, if you have any other questions um, before school starts back up, just go ahead and shoot me an email. Otherwise, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.